I've always had a thirst for adventure, to seek out wild places and new experiences, and with summer now upon us, what better way to explore these wild places than by Packraft? I had my eyes set on the mighty Shoalhaven River, an epic three-day adventure exploring some of the most wild and rugged country in New South Wales. So with this in mind, I hit up Matsy from the Silly Swagman because I knew he'd be up for the adventure. So after the car shuffling and some pretty hectic final packing, we descended down the steep mountain to the river. With the constant rain and intense flooding that the Australian East Coast has seen over the last 12 months, it seemed as though the river gods were finally looking down on us and we were gifted with the perfect river conditions. Well, she is steep. We're about halfway down now. I'm just realizing how unfun this is going to be hiking back out. All fun and games, isn't it, mate? Mate, I'm going to live down there. There's no way I'm walking out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I've just come across some bush tucker. We've got this shrub just here. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's called a native cherry. If I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen, but I think it's a native cherry. I've never actually come across it before in the bush, but I've seen it in a few books and it looks a lot like it. And look, while we're here, we have a little nibble, but we won't swallow it. It's definitely sweet, so. Dead. <laughs> actually, mate, do you want to try it first? <laughs> yeah, no worries. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's um, yeah, native cherry, so. Yeah, that's all fine. But remember kids, don't go eating things you're not sure about in the bush. That's not saying a good example, is it? Have a go with this guy. What do you come to check out, mate? Is my flash yeah. here, huh? We're definitely not going to lose you either. <laughs> Love that hat. Let me see the, let me see the back come of that Come on, hat, close mate. up. So who sent this to you? This, uh, it was sent in by El Dingo. El Dingo. Not too shabby, mate. My thoughts are I can secure it for when, when I'm hitting that rough stuff. Oh, yeah. Coming in hot, wind's blasting Got through my hair. Falls. Won't come off. <laughs> Bloody out of here, mate. Wrong way, mate. We've been through this before, haven't we? Thank you. 
girls down there, mate. <laughs> Well, I'm on the hunt for Matsy's paddle. I think I saw it drift down here somewhere. I'll tell you, mate. <laughs> you just sit back and relax. <laughs> so as you guys have probably guessed, we still can't find Matsy's paddle. It must have like, yeah, floated down river or something. I saw it sort of go over these rocks over here, but we had a look around there and I can't see it. So. Looks like Matsy's getting a free ride for the rest of the trip. Yeah, I couldn't <laughs> find it. <laughs> yeah. But at least you're alive, mate. That's that was true. that was a pretty sketchy That's rapid. Hindsight, we probably shouldn't have run it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it honestly looked doable. Hey, I honestly thought like, oh, it's a bit challenging, but it was a doable one. But yeah. Well, we're struggling to find it. Bloody old Matsy, why do I bring you? Every yeah. time I bring you, something happens. I mate. found it right here. <laughs> Perfect. I'm gonna need a paddle. Single paddle. Let's see how we go. Oh, good on play. Yes, we should definitely disconnect. Yeah. <laughs> Two idiots are lost in the wild. <laughs> Up a river without a paddle. <laughs> Up shit creek without a paddle. <laughs> Paddling out of the next 20 kilometers with a single paddle. <laughs> How do you pull over for a sec? Oh. We found it just over there. Yeah. <laughs> just as we're losing hope, oh. I just saw something blue. Mate. Just as we'd given up. Honestly. <laughs> mate, that is, that is extremely lucky, eh? Unbelievable. Like, I honestly can't believe I actually saw that. Like, no. Look, you guys can see it over there, but it's just amongst all the sort of foamy whitewash. You can barely make out the blue paddle. That was, oh, well, I'm so glad well, we pulled we over here. so easily just walk back to those. Oh, easily, mate. Right like, you can barely even see it now. I just happened to get a good glimpse, uh, glimpse of it. Mate, the paddling gods have looked down on us, so oh. you little ripper. <laughs> Thank you. Yes! Woo! <laughs> Ew. And here you go, good sir. Very honourable. <laughs> oh. Guard that with your life, mate. <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> All right, we're back on the road. It slowed us down a significant amount, eh? <laughs> oh, so glad we found that paddle. Honestly, that would have been a very long, I think it's like about 20 kilometres or so until we get back to where the car is. So that would have been a very long paddle for, for both of us. <laughs> Alright, let's try and find a spot to set up camp because it's starting to get pretty late. I mean, it's yeah, just after six now. And we're both getting starting to get pretty cold too. Well, we found camp for tonight. I mean, it is a pretty epic camp. Looking down the gorge just there, that is pretty damn impressive. This cliffs just get so steep. But uh, yeah, very keen to get these wet clothes off. Eh? We're both like really cold. It's probably about 6.30 now and the wind's picked up as well, so pretty chilly. So I'm um, getting some dry clothes on and get a, a tent set up.
that is definitely not bushcraft. <laughs> I don't even know how to use this bit of technology. Tinder. Tinder on. I think what I love most about these adventures is you can't help but feel completely alive out here. You're forced to be present. All the worries you have in modern society seem irrelevant and nothing else matters except the here and now. It's an invigorating feeling and a big reason why I keep getting drawn back to the wild. Well, good morning guys. It's a little bit of a grey one this morning. It's actually just starting to sprinkle as well. Not quite sure what all these clouds are doing. I swear the forecast said it was meant to be sunny today, so hopefully they bug off a little bit later. Uh, it's about 8.30, we just had some brekkie. We're, um, we're probably gonna start packing camp down in the next like hour or so, but we're gonna maybe go for a little bit of a fish. Like this pool just behind me, looks like it. It's got some like nice eddies and stuff, so I'm hoping there might be some fish hiding around here. Again, well, a bit of a late start to this morning. I think it's like 10:30. I think we've got about, I think about sort of like 13 k's or something to go today. But I think it should be pretty cruisy. I think most of the rapids are just nice little gentle runs, so nothing really too crazy. This gorge from the water looks absolutely epic.
let's head out. How good is that? Oh, wow. What an amazing place to go. Oh. <laughs> wow, see the waterfall? Wow. It looks like something out of like the Kimberley or something. That is amazing. Oh, <laughs> this place is unreal. Just pulled up in this little sandbar just here, just to uh, have a quick bite to eat. It's an absolute gem of a spot, hey. Really pretty. Uh, it's about, I think about 1 or 1.30, and we're doing a pretty good time. I think we're just past the sort of halfway point um, towards our destination for tonight. So, yeah, sit down, have some food, and we'll get back on our way. geologists and rock lovers out there. How interesting is this? So you got this bedrock which is I'm not quite sure what kind of rock that is. And above it you've got like a conglomerate sandstone. It's really like such a defined layer between the two. That flap is just flapping in the wind. <laughs> oh, we're just laughing because we were watching back um, the footage last night of where Matty came out of the boat on that little waterfall. 100% his fault. <laughs> so rather than having like his feet inside the raft, so you're kind of like, you're kind of gripping the raft, you're kind of using that as stability. He had his feet on the outside of the tubes. <laughs> Just like up. So when he went down off the waterfall, he just hit like the bottom of the waterfall and just bounced straight <laughs> out. <laughs> Biggest crack up, honestly. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this guy. He's a bloody liability, I swear. <laughs>
was a really cool little section. It's like paddling through the trees they sort of come over you. It's got a really nice feeling. So we're just having a look here. And it seems like there's a bit of timber, like some strainers down the end there. So, I don't know, rather than sort of risking it getting stuck down there, you might just walk, yeah, walk the, the rafts on the rocks. This is the stuff that we wanted to avoid. So you could have easily got stuck under that, hey. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Matty's lost his raft. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> He's taking the easy route. Yeah. <laughs> I've got over that. Yeah. <laughs> can see that but it looks like a passion fruit so, looks like it's got all passion fruit seeds there's a bit of a funny smell to it wow that's really strange there's another one just there as well i don't know if this is native or like a weed or something that's fruiting i've never seen that before i have to see um in my bush tucker book see if it's a native thing or whether it's a weed very strange. Woo! Well, that might be camp right there. All right, well, I think we found camp for tonight. We just pulled up in this big sandbar just here and it's a really nice spot. You've got all the cliffs surrounding us. You can also start to see the sandstone cliffs because we're going down into the Shoalhaven Gorge now. And so all the sandstone cliffs start to reveal themselves, which is nice. Um, yeah, really nice spot. It's about four o'clock now as well. So plenty of time um, just to get tensed up and sit back and enjoy this beautiful sunshine as well. It's gonna be a really nice afternoon. All right, we finally got camp set up. As we'll set on camp, saw two big fish smash the surface. I didn't get a good look at them, but I'm pretty sure they're trout. So I'm gonna grab the fly rod and uh, yeah, chuck a few flies and see if we can catch one. We're all friends here together. Oh. 
Oh, he's got a little fish. What's he got? A bass. Nice, mate. Very nice. John West knows <laughs> best. <laughs> so wrong Come on, man. Let's do another supper. <laughs> supper. <laughs> I feel it when I'm sleeping. Even when the day. Doesn't look that appetizing. We're all friends here together. Well, good morning, and how nice. Finally got the sun out. This looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. Um, it's about, I think about 8.30 now. Um, so we're gonna, yeah, just pack up camp now. I'm gonna jump in the raft and go for a bit of a fish over there. Cause we saw um, a few fish jump. Like I'm pretty sure the trout hiding over in that eddy. So I might go for a quick little cast over there and then we'll have to make our way out. We've got a, it's not a huge paddle. I think it's maybe like four Ks, I think, um, to sort of the takeout spot and then a, a big trek back up the mountain. So we want to try and get to the takeout spot by about 11 at the latest. That way it gives us um, a couple of hours to do the hike out and yeah, do the car shuffle and stuff. So anyway, let's go for a fish. to go for some bass, so let's change up to a little popper. I uh, think this trip's almost coming to an end. I can see the ridge in the distance we have to yeah, walk back up. So I'm not looking forward to that, but um, man, it's just been such an incredible trip. I've had so much fun on this one. Just an amazing river to come and explore and really nice like beginner river as well. Apart from that one rapid that Matthew sort of came off on, 
I think it's been really crazy. Like I said, just one, class one and class two rapids, and you could honestly probably do it in a canoe as well. Really fun river. Definitely be coming back. Like there's plenty more sections to this river that we can do in the future, so it won't be the last time we'll be paddling it. So as the trip comes to an end, we navigate the final rapids. I think back on what an epic adventure the last three days have been, exploring some amazing country with good company. We're only new to pack rafting, but the freedom these glorified pool toys give you is a feeling like no other. Pack rafts really are the ultimate wilderness vessel, allowing you to travel further and see things otherwise maybe hard to reach on foot. So as we pack our gear and prepare for the tough slog back up the mountain in the summer heat, we're already planning the next pack raft adventure. Oh, she's so fresh. Alright, well that was it. What an epic trip. Honestly, one of the best.